This demo is a little more advanced, but produces a great, very subtle, see-through caption for your photos, like this. You can see if I drag the caption away from the photo that it's just an embossed outline, so it works over any background. I'm going to create this in a new document. The first step using the text tool is to type your caption text. In this case, I'm writing it over two lines, as I want it to be very large over my photo. Using the selector tool, I drag it to enlarge it. I'm going to select a bold font using the font gallery. Just double click the font to change the selection. To create the embossed effect, I'm going to be creating both a white and a black outline. So that I can see these, I'm going to set my page background to grey. There's a great shortcut to do this. If I drag a colour from the colour line over the page, you will see it sets the page background to that colour. Before I start, I must copy this object to the clipboard, as I'm going to need it again later. Next, I'm going to create a copy exactly on top by using the Clone menu option. It looks like nothing has happened. But now, if I use the arrow keys to nudge it up one and left one pixel, and click the white colour on the colour line, you can see I have a white copy on top that is slightly shifted up and to the left. The arrow keys nudge the selected object by one pixel in any direction. Now select both copies. The easiest way to do this is to use the selector tool. Just drag around the whole text. You should see the status line confirm that you have selected two objects. We can create part of the outline by subtracting the top shape from the bottom one. Select the Arrange menu, Combine shapes, Subtract shapes, so this is half of the required result. Now we'll do almost the same thing to create the other half. First of all, we'll use a trick to paste the original object from the clipboard back exactly where it came from. Usually when you paste, it puts the pasted object in the centre of the screen. But there's a hidden shortcut. Instead of pressing Ctrl V, which is the normal shortcut for paste, instead press Ctrl Shift V. Then the object is pasted exactly where it came from. So I now have my original text back. I'm going to colour this white. And again, I'm going to clone a copy directly on top. This time, using the arrow keys, I'm going to nudge it the other way, down, and to the right by one pixel. If I now click that red colour, you will see a slight white outline to the top left. So I'm going to subtract the top shape again. But this time it's a little more tricky. In the selector tool, if I drag around the text, you see it says that I have three objects selected, because that includes the original outline I made. It's hidden under these objects, but I need to select just the top two objects. If I zoom in, with the zoom tool, I just drag around a small piece of text. Back in the selector tool, first click on the background to deselect everything. Now click on the red text, and holding the shift key down, carefully click on the white sliver. The status line should show two text objects. I'll revert to the previous zoom, so we can see all the text. Once this is done, I can now select the Subtract option as before. And now I have my final result. Part white outline and part black, to create a see-through embossed effect. The final thing I need to do is to group the two parts together, so that I can drag the graphic around more easily. Just marquee select the whole graphic and select Arrange, Group. Finally, I want to place this on my photo in the other document, so I also copy the result to the clipboard. Switching back to my original document, I can now paste this and position it on the drawing. And I can resize it as usual by just dragging the corner control handle. This looks great and remains readable over just about any background, and at a variety of sizes. One final tip. When trying to drag this object around, you may find it a bit fiddly to select and drag. Perhaps the easiest way to solve this is to set the view quality to outline mode using this slider. Now you can see and drag the objects around. But it takes only a few seconds to create. And of course, you can save the Zara file to apply the watermark to any photos in the future.